Write this down. Growth and advancement in this kingdom must be intentional. There's no assumption as far as growth and advancement is concerned. It must be intentional that I desire to leave this level spiritually. I desire to leave this level financially. You will be amazed at how many people who hope to move forward. They wish to move forward. They believe that just because they are in Christ, one day automatically they will move forward. The only dimension of growth that looks automatic is your biological growth. Every other kind of growth must be initiated intentionally. Hallelujah. It's very, very important. And because you see, the principle of fulfillment is such that it is in your growth and progress that you find fulfillment. When you find fulfillment, you find fulfillment as you move, as you make progress. You will celebrate having a beautiful house now and having the money to pay for that rent. But after a few years, you will start getting angry that you are a tenant. You see that now? Something you once celebrated will no longer bless you again because there is an instinct for advancement. As a man of God, you will operate at a frequency in ministry and you'll be happy for a while and then later a dissatisfaction is in your spirit. God is a God of advancement. I want to share with you a few principles. I've had the privilege to glean from the wisdom of the word and the wisdom of uncommon mentors. What you are learning I submit to you are not the opinions of men. It is dangerous and even destructive to teach you opinions. The truths that I share with you are irrefutable principles guarded by God's own jealousy. From whatever point you are, if you walk in keeping with these truths, I give you a guarantee as touching the name of the Lord. You will never remain where you are. And believe me, I say it with all humility. I know what I'm saying. I'm not teaching you nonsense. He said the things we have heard the things we have seen the things that our hands have handled even of the word of life that is what we communicate unto you so can you pray one more time open my eyes oh god let me see open my eyes in the name of jesus the laws of advancement hallelujah When I found out the systemic character of God, it changed my life because my spiritual background was such that I came from an evangelical background. And then when I began to have encounters with God, I was amazed that I was knowing him, getting deeper in the things of God, but in a shocking way, the quality of my life did not change, regardless my encounters. The only benefit I was receiving was spiritual benefit in terms of my knowledge of God. But the quality of my life, my influence, and I said something, this, something is wrong. How could I be having such profound encounters with the God of the Bible and yet my life would not change? Until I was introduced to the systemic character of God. That there is Jesus the way. Everybody say it. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. If you know the truth, wonderful. If you know the life, wonderful. But I introduce to you in this conference, Jesus, the way, the methodology of the kingdom. It is still Jesus. Many people do not know Jesus the way. And if you do not know the way, then you don't know how results are obtained in this kingdom. The dimension of Jesus that reveals how results are obtained is called Jesus the way. The way to grow.